Entrada Therapeutics is a clinical stage company driven to transform the lives of patients. When laying the first bricks in Entrada's foundation, we recognized a fundamental problem holding back the drug discovery industry, and we were confident our science had the potential to solve it. To provide some background, about 75% of disease-causing targets are located inside cells, but they've historically been difficult to access. With only about 1-2% to of today's biological medicines reaching their intended target inside the cell. Why are these success rates so low? Developing conventional intracellular therapeutics present two key challenges. They not only need to make it inside the cell, but they need to exit the endosome to reach their intended target. Imagine if you were to take 100 shots and only make two goals. That's what today's chances are of hitting your target. We believe that achieving better odds than this is possible and essential. At Entrada, we're working to bridge this gap. We're doing this by establishing a new class of intracellular therapeutics that not only make it inside the cell, but also reach their intended target. Our intracellular approach, led by our endosomal escape vehicle, or EEV therapeutics, have enabled us to build a robust pipeline of programs spanning discovery and clinical development led by our investigational exon skipping therapies for Duchenne muscular dystrophy. United by a shared sense of urgency and passion when we step into the lab, our team is constantly pushing the boundaries to not only improve our work, but the industry-wide approach to drug development. It is our hope that we can make a meaningful difference for communities like you. To make this vision a reality, we built a diverse pipeline of treatments across multiple indications, including neuromuscular diseases. Our lead programs are in development for the potential treatment of people living with Duchenne muscular dystrophy who are Exxon 44, 45, and 50 skipping amenable. My name is Natarajan Sethraman. I'm the president of research and development at Entrada Therapeutics. To understand how current Duchenne treatments fall short, we first need to understand what causes Duchenne muscular dystrophy? The disease is caused by lack of dystrophin. You need sufficient dystrophin for the muscles to function normally. The current technologies of exon skipping uh, produce very little dystrophin to have a functional impact on the patients. Our technology, on the other hand, uses EEVs or endosomal escape vehicles that greatly enhances the distribution of the drug into the muscle with the result in the animal models, we have seen very robust restoration of dystrophin across the muscle, and that enables us to restore the function of the muscle in these animal models. We have now translation from animal models to phase one clinical study, where we have shown our technology is able to transfer large amount of drug into the muscle, and we have shown very good target engagement. So the hope is then to go into the patients in the phase two and then reproduce these results to robustly distort the dystrophin level and muscle function in patients. We could have a huge impact in altering the course of the disease. Of course, we have to prove it in clinical trial, but it is a very exciting phase in Entrada where we have this good translation from animal models to humans, and we can't wait to run the phase two studies in patients. My name is Carla McDonald, and I'm the Chief Corporate Affairs Officer for Entrada Therapeutics. In Entrada, we're intellectually curious about the science, but we know that science without a destination doesn't live up to its potential. And foundationally, every Entradan is driven by our mission which is to help treat these serious diseases through intracellular therapeutics. Intracellular therapeutics is the science by which we are going to go about it, but ultimately it's our drive which leads to our sense of urgency and our passion for bringing new medicines forward. When I walk around the offices and the labs and I talk to employees who are working on the research, that is leading to these therapies and these clinical trials. What gets people most motivated is the impact that they hope to have. We truly want to make sure that our trials are accessible 
I know that there's a lot of enthusiasm for participating in clinical trials, but there's also stuff that people are unsure about or even find scary. One of the things that we want to do and we're working hard to do is to make sure that we're creating materials that provide a realistic and deep background on what the clinical trial process would be like. We're taking time to understand some of the barriers. They could be language, they could be locational, they could be financial, and we're taking meaningful steps to make sure that they are addressed in the clinical trial services that we're developing. And the reason we're doing this is because we wanna make sure that our trial is accessible to anyone who is qualified to participate regardless of their background or any supplemental needs they may have. It's by making our trials truly open to a broad perspective of people that we will get the clinical experience that we're looking for to make our therapeutics as accessible as they can be. I'm Sarah Friedhoff, and I lead patient advocacy at Entrada Therapeutics. What I find particularly special about Entrada is that we work shoulder to shoulder with patient advocacy organizations, constantly uncovering ways that we can improve treatments and expand access faster than by working alone. After receiving direct feedback from patient advocates on the Duchenne community's needs, we prioritized our exon 44 skipping oligonucleotide with our lead program. One of our team's favorite events is the Entrada Family Weekend, where patients, families, care partners, visit our offices to meet with the Entrada team and connect and share experiences and provide input on our programs. These personal interactions are the building blocks of Entrada and they're what motivate our team to come into the lab each day. It's essential to get feedback from the people who are living with the diseases we're targeting. That's why we hold regular community advisory board meetings where patients, their loved ones, and advocacy groups from across the globe can share their unique experiences and their needs. We take that feedback, we apply it to study protocols, pipeline decisions, and everything else that guides Entrada. We've held several community advisory board meetings where we received recommendations on how to minimize the burden of participation in clinical trials for those living with Duchenne and their families. After the meeting, we took the feedback and implemented changes to our study designs, outcome measures, recruitment strategy, and our protocols to ensure that future study participants are supported and have the resources they need, directly informed by the insights of patients. We also strive for a healthcare system that's equitable, inclusive, diverse, and representative of all patient populations. So we hold our annual DREAMS grant program and award significant grants to nonprofit organizations that are working to better identify, understand, and reach those who are currently underrepresented and underserved in the Duchenne community. Incorporating feedback from the community needs to be a priority. At Entrada, by incorporating these activities, we're hoping to inspire other biotech companies to follow suit. We've made some really exciting progress in our pursuit of better therapeutics, but this is really just the beginning. Working with communities like yours is what will ensure that we're on the right path, and we'd love for you to join us as we work to advance life-changing therapies. We encourage you to reach out to our advocacy team or visit our website if you'd like to learn more about our work at Entrada and how we can support you. For more information, you can visit our website, entradatx.com.